Locati here. Today we're going to go over a nice little trick that we have with Path of Building in order to improve the usage of it with your character and some of your favorite content creators built guides. So what you're going to do first is go to your favorite content creator, go to their videos, go down, grab their POB link here. And then we're going to hop over into POB and import that build right here. And this will bring the whole POB over. Now, what we're going to do is add your character to the POB. So you go over here, new loadout, name it whatever you want, like my character sucks. Hit save. Now you have a loadout for your character. You can come over here. Find your character in the list, import their passive items, their passive tree, jewels, items, and skills into POB. Now this is the raw data from your character in POB on this loadout. And you get to play around with some things. So, for example, if you are on a, a mid-budget guide for the character, you want to turn on the mid-budget configuration. Most of the content creators will have things checked and ticked and marked that are necessary um, for that mid-budget version of the build. Anything that doesn't apply to you because you don't meet the gear requirement or you don't meet the, the skill requirement will be readed out and doesn't get counted anyway because you don't have whatever is necessary to account for that. Uh, but it'll let you bring in that configuration into your character. And so you can see right here, we, for example, we have Chaos Res and Ellie Res because it wasn't included in the gear on the mid build. You could just remove that right there to turn that off, for example, and see what your character looks like with a mid-budget configuration from DPS. And so like this one right here is sitting at a melee strike proj damage of 10.5 million damage. And this is our character with our skills and our tree just in this budget, mid-budget configuration. Now, if you wanted to see what your character would look like with that budget's gear, you can do this right here and see what your character looks like with that budget's gear. If you wanted to step it up, we can go to a high-end budget's gear. We can go to a ridiculously high-end budget's gear. And so you can play with the different gear sets on your character based on these loadouts here just by adding your character to the existing path of building profile that your content creators have, have made for you. It'll, you can do the thing with items. You can do the same thing with skills. If you want to see what it would look like with different skill sets, you can come over here and see what it looks like with different trees. And, you know, maybe you want to try a new build. Maybe you're playing Lightning Strike and you really want to try Molten Strike. You can go download a Molten Strike POB, slam your character into it, set the skills uh, and the tree and the configuration, and just see where you stand with your current items. And then you can look at which items you can improve. And so, for example, if, you, if you're just looking at improving items, you can look at, okay, so I want to move up to the high budget. In the high budget build, I'm using Ralakesh and Arns. And so with my current character, that would be moving Dark Ray Vectors over to Ralakesh and then this belt over to Arns. And you can see my DPS goes up significantly by upgrading just those two items. And you can play around with things and get an idea for what position your character is going to be in and how upgrades are going to affect you in a nice, easy, condensed manner and a way for you to better utilize POB in your, your character journey here. And so if you have any questions, leave comments down below or swing over to Twitch and ask. I'm, I'm happy to help out and show this to you live and help you fix things about your character if there's anything we can do to fix those so you can have a more enjoyable time playing Path of Exile. Thank you very much and peace.